scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. So I said that prophecy through a human vessel is limited by many factors. Number one, the level of consecration and yieldedness. Number two, the kind of association that person is. You can be a genuine prophet or one who is inclined to the prophetic, but because of a wrong association, it can corrupt the purity and even the accuracy of your dispensing the prophetic. Just giving you many information. Number three, your level of transformation and enlightenment. Listen, a prophet can be genuine, loves God with all his heart, but because his mind is not transformed, there will be a, a high margin of error in his perception. In Mark, in Mark chapter 8, verse 22, let me show you something. Mark 8 22 the Bible says Jesus came to Bethsaida and they brought to him a blind man and besought him to touch him we're reading to 25 very quickly the Bible says he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town watch this and the Bible says he spat on his eyes and put his hands on him and asked him if he was seen are you seeing now look at the man the man looked up and said I see men as trees walking that is an aberration in, in, in perception. The same way it happened to this man, there are many genuine prophets who have not been transformed to purify their prophetic, um, uh, uh, what do you call it now? The dispensing of their prophetic. So even though they are genuine, when you come around them and they speak to you, it ends up confusing you because it is a genuine gift or a genuine grace, but without transformation. The prophetic through a human vessel depends largely on your level of orientation and perception. Let's finish that scripture, please. 25. The Bible says he put his hand again on his eyes and made him look up and he was restored. And he saw every man clearly. Yes, I'm seeing a vision about you, but it's not clear. And most people come up with that unrefined dimensions of visions. That is why you see that the margin of error, they can say something today, it is very accurate. And you meet them tomorrow and what they tell you becomes the biggest confusion in your life. But because of the accuracy of what happened yesterday, you will now follow in that confusion and they themselves are surprised. Because the prophetic does not happen automatically. For the human vessel, it depends on your level of transformation. Some of you right now, you are in pain from the prophetic that blessed you. And it is still causing you right now. It has both blessed and cursed you. Do you know why? Because as sincere as we the vessels are, our level of scriptural transformation is what connects to provide purity to our speaking and our seeing and our hearing. Don't go around saying I am a prophet or I was laid, hands were laid by a prophet and ignore the word of God. Most prophets only pray they don't stay to understand doctrine. Prayer will deepen your reach in the realm of the spirit. But the word of God will guide your operation while you are there. So most people find out the moment they have a prophetic inclination, all they are concerned about is prayer. And you can see a man two weeks, dry fasting, praying. And he will come out and tell you, you see everything that I saw? I saw you in a pit. 
okay what is the scriptural explanation of that it is the bible that now gives that seeing a perspective that glorifies jesus mm. the prophetic from a human vessel is also limited by your level of level of sincerity at heart the level of character and sincerity of the vessel jeremiah 14 14 i believe that scripture is just coming to my spirit now jeremiah 14 14 the bible says and the lord said unto me the prophets prophesy lies in my name i have not sent them neither have i commanded them neither speak unto them they prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing not and deceit of the heart let me tell you the truth please look up i confess to you as a man of god and on behalf of several men of god i can tell you when god brings you to a position where people know you and accept you to be a credible voice and believe in you sometimes you are pressured by the level of faith and confidence that people place on you that you are tempted to just say anything to redeem your pedigree i told you genuine prophets can lie i can come to you sincerely and say apostle i know that if i just see you all my problems are ending three of my children stole i want to just know who to really deal with and I, this is a simple thing with you god gave you the eyes that see you see after after acknowledging the investment of the spirit in your life like that will you now tell the person sorry it looks like i'm limited and the person says so i traveled from america to come and meet you only to hear this explanation i would have used my fare ticket to go to a restaurant and eat and even be happy and chances are excellent that you can sit down and start saying things that God did not say. And because you have a track record of credibility, listen, a track record of credibility does not automatically mean you are credible now. A track record of credibility is an advantage, but make no mistake, people change. Don't say you were accurate and fine yesterday. We need to see what God is doing with you now. There was a man in the Bible called Demas. There's no time to teach you. Demas did not start false. He started genuinely and sincerely. But because of the cares of this world and all of that, he just derailed. A track record of credibility is wonderful. But that does not automatically translate into excellence and acceptance today. It is important for people to see your dealings with God now. Is someone learning? This is very, very important. So the prophetic can be affected. Someone can come with 200 million naira and say, God spoke to me and said, I should come to a ministry in Abuja. I want to verify from you whether you are the one or is somebody else. Say character. Please shout it. Say character. Now remember, that man is willing to give. 200 million is in front of you and the person wants to know who God said he should give and you are standing there. Are you seeing that the prophetic can be affected by that? Scripture does not care who it is talking to. It just knows that it is there to reveal Jesus. You walk against it, you suffer. You walk in partnership with it, God is glorified in your life. But here is a human vessel who has eyes, ears and emotions. They can look at you and just begin to think and the flesh the unrenewed part of you will now arise and say think of what this 200 million can do remember god told you that your children are going to canada could this be that this is a miracle are we together The prophetic can also be affected by your capacity to interpret the things that you see and hear. The prophetic, Matthew 17, please, can be affected by your capacity to see the strength of your ability to interpret. The Bible says six days 
after six days jesus take it peter and james and john the brother watch this now and the bible says he brought them into a high mountain apart reading to four verse two and he was transfigured before them watch this now i hope you know they were witnesses of the transfiguration that transfiguration was a spiritual thing they were seen into the spirit and the bible says his face did shine as the sun and his raiment was white as light verse three and behold there appeared unto them not unto him that means they saw it too they saw moses and they saw elijah talking with him was their scene correct yes they saw accurately but let's see their interpretation verse 4 and peter said unto jesus lord it is good for us that we are here if thou will let us make three tabernacles one for you one for moses one for elijah this is a very potent spiritual experience and his perception was correct but interpreting it now imagine if you had to depend on peter as your man of god do you know how many things he will see correctly but the meaning he will give to you will destroy it this is one of the challenges with the prophetic the things we see and the things we hear are very accurate but because we have not built discernment through the word to die to decipher and interpret the things that we see correctly there are many homes who have been broken today because of correct visions and poor interpretation you can look up for i, I always give this example you can look at a couple and the, god will open your eyes and see a spirit maybe see something that looks like a shrine around her or see a horn or even a demon spirit now you saw correctly it is based on the degree and the depth of your understanding the word to interpret that in a way that edifies if you do not know how to interpret the prophetic you will just look and say madam oga you married a witch i know what i'm seeing and like i've taught you who will sit down to eat dinner with a witch? Let's be honest. There are many people today whose lives have been destroyed because of the imbalance and the inaccurate communication of the prophetic. Sincere people have been called demons. Are we together now? Because of the prophetic. Listen very carefully. There are many people who were doing businesses that were correct. But the prophetic just came and said look at this look at this look at that and there are people who did were not supposed to stop their jobs but maybe you see somebody working in an oil and gas company and god opens your eyes and you just see an estate it may tell you that in the future he will be doing real estate or in addition he should do real estate or god is going to beautify his life the way you are in the similitude of the house that you saw now it's up to you to use scripture and interpret you can just say oga you better leave this job now god is not in it and the man will leave a job paying one million per month and waiting to do real estate the first real estate he did was with a 419 person and one billion just went down and he comes to you and say prophet and you say i know what i saw you didn't lie but your interpretation was false please hear me if you are called into the prophetic here or through the health of your prayer life god has been tilting you towards the prophetic please stay with the word of god and learn wisdom so that you do not mislead people if i were called as a man of god to interpret pharaoh's dream egypt would die of hunger based on what i will say are we together because the first thing i'm going to go to most likely is witchcraft by the time you see seven lean cows eat seven fat ones and don't increase what else is that not witchcraft <laughs> i'll just say pharaoh i don't know where you are coming from but let me tell you don't take for granted that you are the pharaoh something is wrong with you your life is about to be cut short but here is a man who had correct perception and correct interpretation he said both the cows the fat cows the lean cows the fat ears the unproductive they all mean time how does that relate to time that's what the spirit of god can do listen i'm teaching tonight i'm hoping god is correcting someone because there are many visions right now on your table full of false interpretations you have added to them there are many people who should not start ministry 
but just because you saw a man holding a mic holding a mic does not mean he's called into ministry it can mean many things listen carefully you saw yourself naked in the spirit it does not always mean witchcraft who told you nakedness always means witchcraft nakedness can mean intimacy I saw a chain you must be a witch who told you the chain of gold can be was it not a chain that was put on Joseph when he was honored don't just interpret things wrongly because of what you saw five people can see chains and it means five different things hallelujah a man can see his wife after four children you have vowed that you won't give birth again and then suddenly you will see your wife in a vision while you are praying pregnant with twins it does not mean to have more children you have to pray for the interpretation you see that now please shout amen, amen. because i need to say this because many believers in the body of christ claiming maturity without stability of scripture you will confuse yourself and then even others I'm not you know that when I teach like this I'm not being sarcastic God is helping us to gain understanding I'm going to show you now the rules of engagement and then we'll wrap up with it but it is important do not assume that what you saw is what it is allow the intelligence of the scripture and the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to be the compass that helps your interpretation hallelujah there are people who do everything they see in the spirit you saw yourself smacking your wife that could mean that God is telling you that you are not mentoring her that she's a child in the spirit and the Bible says foolishness is bound in the heart of a child but the rod of correction will drive it far from him he only means introduce mentorship not just love but you can go physically and say madam if you are Goliath I am David I will kill you in this house Who is like him, lion and the lamb, seated on the throne? Listen, if you were John who was caught up in the Isle of Patmos or Ezekiel, and you suddenly have a vision and you see a lion, you see an eagle, you see a man, and then you see what again? A calf. The first thing you will do is bind that vision and say, this thing cannot be in the throne room. This is demons. This, this, this is witchcraft. What is the face of an eagle doing before God? What is the face of a man? I'm seeing four faces. This must be a cause. This is, this is ancestry. And you will be binding it and casting it, whereas they represent four dimensions that show the holistic spiritual growth of a man. The lion stands for kingship, dominion. The calf stands for servanthood. The man stands for your humanity. And the eagle stands for your divinity. God may be showing you something else and you are casting it through ignorance. You may sincerely go to bed and God shows you a gentleman or shows you a woman. That does not mean marriage. Who told you that just because you, you, you can even see the person in a wedding gown in a vision. It does not mean marriage. It can mean honor. It can mean restoration. It can mean intimacy. Listen, I'm preaching from my heart because if the body of Christ does not understand the power of interpretation, many correct things we see and hear will mislead us. Are we together? By reason of what I do, I get text messages from people. And you know, sometimes people will send me text messages and say, Apostle, my mother is a witch. I want you to agree with me that anybody and any... How do you just assume mama is a witch and you are 30 years old, she did not kill you? Simply because you had a dream and you saw her frowning. What does that mean? Does frowning mean she does not want my progress? What does that, where did you get that from? How many innocent people today are going through pains? There are spouses that never talk because someone saw something. There are businessmen that just cut business ties and they say, what happened? You say, I went to bed and I got up and I just saw blood dripping. 
my brother what does that mean blood dripping does not necessarily mean witchcraft that may mean that this phase of business will demand sacrifice so go through it with honor stop thinking profit and just press you can't just assume that because you saw blood dripping it is witchcraft please lay your hands on your head and say lord correct every wrong interpretation correct it correct it someone pray those following online pray if there is any vision any dream any prophetic manifestation confusing my life confusing my destiny i cry unto the god of heaven give me accurate interpretation of the happenings around my life by this time tomorrow in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus rules of engagement pay attention now as we wrap up I want to show you rules of engagement means how to make the prophecy from scripture work for you and how to make the prophecy that comes through human vessels i hope you know just because i'm showing you flaws here and there with human vessels does not mean that the prophetic that comes through men is wrong god still uses men even now are we together rules of engagement apostle how do i make the prophetic from scripture let's start with scripture how do i make the prophetic from scripture work for me I want to be able to take the truths of scripture and make it happen, create possibilities in my life. Let me give you a few rules of engagement. Let's start with the prophecy of scripture. Number one, you must access the prophetic blessing of scripture by locating scriptural promises that relate to your area of concern. It's a long sentence, I'll break it down for you. You must access the prophetic blessing of scripture you must access the prophetic blessing of scripture by locating scriptural promises that relate to your area of concern by locating scriptural promises these are the rules of engagement now you want to make the word of god as a prophetic platform to work for you rule number one is that you must find from scripture you must pay the price to locate where God has said what concerning you. In Luke chapter 4 and verse 17, you must access the prophetic blessing of scripture by locating scriptural promises that relate to your area of concern. Luke 4, 17, the Bible says, and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah and the Bible says when he had opened the book please say open the book one more time say open the book prophesy to yourself say open the book when he had opened the book sometimes it is not in walking around that you find sometimes it is not traveling from place to place that you find finding comes when you open the book when he had opened the book he found the place where it was written the word of god will never profit you until you find where it is written have you found where it was written concerning your health it is written have you found where it is written concerning your safety can i tell you do not trust any confidence you have if you cannot support it with scripture what makes you believe that your children are going to be great i train them well you are joking Go back to scripture the bible says blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth and the generation of the upright shall be blessed this is the basis of my confidence if you believe that even if your child goes from pillar to post find rest this word you believe will draw him one day that child will come for koinonia and as soon as he's sitting, he comes late for miracle service, he is barely sitting when the power of God will carry him. And as he lands like Paul, he will hear a voice, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Listen, believers, we activate the prophetic dimension of scripture by first locating where it is written. 
everything about your life has a parallel that is written somebody shout it is written one more time let the devil hear you say it is written so the next time you say apostle i don't know what is happening around my life it is difficult for the word of god to help you with that kind of confusion what is the area jesus will meet people and say what should i do for you what do you want the word of god to do apostle i've been trusting god for the fruit of the womb and it looks like the doctor said this and that and that and that i know if i meet you before you meet me meet the word find three or four scripture because in the mouth of two or three a matter is established find two i'm showing you how to to be a profitable believer find two or three scriptures that talk about your fruitfulness are we together now yes so that is the first key man of god what makes you believe ministry will prosper people like me the first conference i held i saw several people you don't know the heart of man hallelujah <laughs> people like anything that starts for the first time it takes the word to keep it going so number one you access the prophetic blessing by locating scriptural promises i hope you are not confused i'm showing you how to engage the prophecy of scripture now we are going to come to human vessels number two declare them boldly that's the second rule of engagement how do I make the prophecy of scripture work for me? Number one, find where it is written from scripture. And number two, declare it boldly. Psalm 107 verse 2. Psalm 107 verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Simple. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Can I tell you, bold declarations of faith is part of the ways that we activate the prophetic dimension of scripture ah in the name of jesus there shall be no loss the bible says the path of the just shines brighter and brighter and you now personalize it and put your name in the name of jesus i declare i do not have a better yesterday my future will always be better than yesterday i declare by the power of the word let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Numbers 14, 28. Very quickly. Numbers 14, 28. Numbers 14, 28. Declare them boldly. Say unto them, As truly as I live, saith the Lord, as ye have spoken in my ears, so will I do for you. As ye have spoken, not as you want to happen, as you have spoken, since all you were saying is there is nothing about us this family we will not rise you do not know that you have been prophesying negative things so will i do unto you one last scripture for that point hebrews chapter 10 and verse 23 the bible says to hold fast 10 23 let us hold fast the profession of our faith the profession without wavering for he is faithful that promised what has he told you he said hold it fast through your profession of faith told you primarily through scripture apostle now that you have spoken I don't even trust my vision so keep the vision aside and focus on the scripture that has been proven while you fine-tune your vision you can be sure that you will not go wrong with scripture is God helping someone so number one access the scriptural promises in the area of concern number two declare them boldly number three write please quickly obediently fulfill the conditions tied to their manifestation obediently fulfill the conditions that are tied to their manifestation obediently fulfill the conditions that are tied to the manifestation of that promise don't assume that because you spoke it will happen every promise of scripture has a participatory condition to activate the prophetic power that resides within it and let me tell you the truth the prophetic power that is resident in scripture will only be manifest at the instance of your obedience obediently fulfill the conditions tied to their manifestations deuteronomy chapter 28 1 and 2 popular scripture it shall come to pass 28 1 and 2 
that if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do, notice, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command you this day, that the Lord your God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. Verse 2, it says, and these blessings shall come on thee at the instance of your obedience and overtake thee if thou will hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Isaiah 1, 19 and 20, please give it to us. Isaiah 1, 19 and 20, we are looking at the third rule of engagement that turns the prophecy of scripture to profit you. If ye be willing and obedient, willingness is not enough, obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Verse 20, it says, but if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. So you want the prophecy of scripture to work for you? Number one, locate. Locate from scripture. Listen, every time Koinonia learn this, let this be a modus operandi for your managing challenges and turning negative things into victory. The moment you are in any negative situation, please minimize lamentation. Go straight to scripture. What has the word of God said concerning this condition? Your life still remains at a risk until you find at least two or three scriptures. As simple as this is, there are people who have felt too proud to follow the simplicity of this protocol now to their detriment. You ask me what is the basis for your confidence in this ministry? I'm not just going to say because the leaders love me or because I love them. As wonderful as these things are, I will show you scriptures that represent the basis. Man of God, what is the basis of your confidence for continuity in ministry? What makes you believe that this Christmas, Koinonia, what makes you think that you will come back next year here? God forbid I will not die. I agree. What is your basis? Ask the devil now, don't tell me ask the devil, what is the basis of your confidence? Bold face is only a recipe for disaster. Surround yourself with scripture. And then number two, declare it boldly. Any truth you find and you are ashamed to declare, you don't have to declare before people. You are declaring to the realm of the spirit because the Bible says, declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Wisdom demands that it's not everything you say in the presence of men because of the heart of men. But as far as the protocol of confession is concerned, you can lock your door and begin to speak. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, I may be a tenant right now in one room, but I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit that I will feed nations. In the lifetime of my loved ones, I will build for them. I will build churches for Jesus Christ. I may be a man of God right now who is suffering epileptic in my revelation but in the name of Jesus I am gaining stability spiritually. I will communicate doctrine with precision and power. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. And then number three to obediently fulfill the conditions tied to their manifestation. Ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. This is where many believers are bought the journey to making the Bible release its prophetic potential over their lives. Most people have found what God has said about them, but to now engage, to now engage, as you will be learning, the prophet spoke over Samaria. He said, by this time tomorrow, this would happen. And he went. Do you know the morrow would have come and another morrow, another morrow, and nothing will happen? The Bible says there were four lepers. Is that true? And those lepers began to speak to themselves. Because you see, the signs follow. The signs don't go before. If you cannot take a bold step of faith, the signs cannot follow. And the leper said, listen, we are lepers. Why sit we here till we die? Let us go and fall into the hands of our enemies. If they spare us, that is fine. If they don't spare us, we perish. Are we together now? Sounds like what Esther did. Declare fast. I will go even though not invited. If I perish, I perish. None of them perished. Hallelujah. 
and the Bible says as they got up and they began to move according to the prophetic word of the prophet the Bible says the Lord made their enemies to hear a sound of chariots and they say ah the king of Israel has gone to get into alliance with other kings and they are now coming to destroy us the Bible says they got up in the morning and they ran by the time the lepers got there all they saw was food and gold the Bible says they entered from house to house and they ate free of charge they ate to a point that they said listen we are not that evil no matter how we want to exhaust this we can't finish it this is a lesson every time God brings you into the wealthy place if you think about yourself alone you will die they said it there because you are alone there there is no that those vast resources will you carry so much gold alone and be moving on the street and someone sees you wouldn't he kill you there is safety in sharing it's not only blessing there is safety in sharing and they said no 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 let's go back to our people and bring them can you imagine blessings that can feed a nation will four people be able to only wicked people carry resources for a nation and consume it by themselves does that sound like what happens in Africa only very wicked people now that everybody prayed everybody suffered prophecy now came and then a few people just said now that we have found it let's just stay here and eat it hallelujah let me give you the last key we're about to pray what is the last key remain steadfast giving thanks remain steadfast comma giving thanks remain steadfast giving thanks this is the fourth key we're discussing rules of engagement now how to release the prophetic potential that is locked up in the word of god number one locate scriptures that address the issue of concern number two that you declare boldly as a law you are not declaring because you are a noise maker the, it is a law in the spirit the law of manifestation demands that it is only what is spoken that manifests number three that you obediently fulfill the conditions that are tied therein for instance if you are praying and trusting God for wealth and prosperity and you are not a giver you are not faithful in your tithing you are not faithful in giving are we together you are not faithful in taking advantage of your mind to have it transformed you are not faithful in being valuable to be able to pro to you know to, to 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 be productive to be fruitful you are already no matter what you confess at best you will just have trickles of favor dripping down like dew but you want sustainable blessings you must find out the conditions that connect to it the bible says he that wants friends the condition is that you must show yourself friendly so if you are a selfish person who is all about you you will find out that you will never have friends you will go from pillar to post saying this lady does not like me this man does not like me but the problem sometimes you can even say even my husband too does not like me before you now judge them find out are you friendly as simple as that apostle destiny helpers have not come to my life being a, receiving from destiny helpers is a harvest who have you become a destiny helper to nobody you can clap some of you want to clap please clap because that is a revelation for you it is amazing how many people will not give many things they want given to them are we together now please listen I'm trusting God for a destiny helper. I'm trusting God for someone to give me a job. I'm trusting God for someone to sow 1 million, 10 million. Believers even have the audacity. Faith is not foolishness. You ask them, what are you trusting God for? Say, I'm, at least I will manage 100 million. And you look at the person and say, what are you saying? And yet that person's mother or father is crying in the village. And the 2 million that you have, even 10,000, you cannot take from it. God is not a fool. You will reap what you sow, not what you want. Nobody reaps what they want. They reap what they sow. So make sure that what you want becomes what you are sowing. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. 
incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you up.